We are in the kitchen with Lauren Ellison from Whole Foods at the Lamar location. Great to have you here. Thank you for having me. And um, all, you haven't started cooking yet, but already we can we can smell the flavors coming yeah. off this cast iron skillet. Yeah. So it's going to be good. We haven't even started cooking yet because this is so fast with shrimp. Oh, yeah. But we didn't even need to start ahead of time. But now, I am going to. The dish itself is sauteed shrimp with. Hatch chilies. Hatch that, chilies. It's that time. It is that time of year, and it's so exciting. People get very passionate about their I hatch know. chilies <laughs> and their chilies in general. So what I just did not? was added some oil okay. to our cast iron pan there. Are you using a uh, conventional olive oil, grapeseed oil? What that you was using? just olive oil. Okay. Yep. Regular, conventional. You can use organic, always. I'm going to throw in some shrimp. And the great thing about this recipe is it's tacos. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to say too much about the... Um, Measurements because it doesn't matter. You can add more if you have more people. Mm -hmm. You can yeah. add less if you have uh, fewer people. And then on top of that, of course, my favorite, I think I've used it almost every time I've been here, <laughs> is some red, red onion. onion. They add it so much good. flavor. Right? That little spice. It's going to show up really well in the recipe there, mm -hmm. in the tacos. And again, you can leave anything out of a taco recipe that you want. But going back to these beautiful hatched chilies, I already have mine pre-chopped right here in front of me. If you're okay. ever going to use, um, if you're going to chop them at home yourself, use some gloves just because they do have a little bit of spice yeah. and anytime mm -hmm. you have those seeds, you're going to want to make sure not to touch your eyeballs. So did you roast those first? These are not roasted. No. Okay. I don't believe they are. So are those stewed? I mean, did, did you did you get those out of a can at Whole Foods or Actually, I got do it yourself? Prepared, oh, okay. I prepared. I had a, an in there. I'm going to turn this up just a little bit. Adding a little bit of that onion. Got some extra there. And if you would like to, sure, absolutely. we're going to stir those around until the shrimp get an orangish pink color. Do I need to uh, flip the shrimp if you at would any like, point? Yeah, if they okay. get pink on the bottom, you can go ahead and flip them. Chopping up some garlic here. Mm -hmm. This is a dish that seems very simple, not too many ingredients, but still a whole lot of flavor. Exactly. Just about everything you're putting in there is going to add a, add a different flavor. Yes, definitely. And uh, with the hatch chilies and being in season right now, mm -hmm. They are all over the store. Oh, I bet. We even yeah. have them at the the um, Candy Island. Uh -huh. We have oh, some hatch chili yeah. chocolate bark. Oh, oh wow. wow. I need to try that. Right? We even have a gelato with hatch chilies uh -huh. in it right now. Yeah, everything you can do with hatch chili. My right personal now. favorite was the hatch chili um, mashed potatoes. Oh. Died yeah. and went to heaven. Wow. You Seriously, can save that some of that amazing. hatch chili it and then so put good. it in um, uh, for Thanksgiving. I mean, that exactly. sounds yummy. Yeah. 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 Saving hatch freeze chilies, them. you can definitely mm -hmm. freeze them. Yes. You can roast them yourself if you'd like, or we can roast them for yeah. you at Whole Foods. Yeah. Oh, we have our huge roasters outside. It. it smells amazing. Now, do you have, in conjunction with hatch chili season, do you have a, a big festival coming up or any other events that we should know about as you add that hatch Look chili? at that greenery. Go ahead and stir all those right. okay. flavors together. We will have different events um, throughout the different Whole Foods. Every one will be a little bit different, but you can find all the information online. We do hold different... Um, recipes and contests and fun activities mm -hmm. all involving hatch chilies. The season's not very long, it's is not. it? So you really want to get out there, take advantage of this time yeah. and get those fresh chilies and, you know, explore some new recipes. Get them now. You can buy them by the case and, like I said, freeze them if you'd like. And there's plenty to go around. They're from New Mexico, uh -huh. so um, you can also buy them extremely hot <laughs> or really? mild. And okay. we have separated them for you so okay, you don't even ahead. have to figure out which ones are which. I like them Would really Would you hot. like to go ahead and dress our taco shells Ooh, there? She's got or the just guacamole. eat the guacamole. Or you could just go ahead and eat it. <laughs> With the spoon. I okay. would not even judge. Now this is a versatile recipe where we're using shrimp right now, mm -hmm. but we could make it Definitely. Pork, chicken, Definitely. maybe another, another fish. It goes in all different mm -hmm. directions. It goes with all different kinds of meats. Um, it even goes by itself just fine. We even have a hatch cheese oh, really? at Whole Foods. So if you don't want to eat it in the actual taco, just shred that cheese on top and you'll still get the mm. flavor going. Oh, yeah. yes. Does oh. that not smell amazing? Yeah, no, it does. It does. It really does. Just, Are you getting you that put one? It in the I have some to chew with. I'm really far. Really <laughs> I want it over here, please. <laughs> Wish we had the smell of vision. Whatever happened to that? <laughs> it's it's still in the works. Great. Did I do a good job? You did great. All right. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Yeah, you're coming along quite nicely. I know. <laughs> Work in progress. Here. Are we, are we decorated? Awesome. We're good awesome. with, the, with the guacamole. Let's go ahead and spoon some of that. You guys are going to get to try this. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> As if there was some that, question that there. That is what I'm hoping for here. Cool. Yeah, that one doesn't look like it's this fully looks cooked. This amazing. Done. I mean, we cooked that up in a matter of, what, three or four How minutes, I think? That? And mm -hmm. I already had those hatched chilies chopped even faster. That's what I love about cooking shrimp. 
Right? It's one of my favorite things. Just make sure you cook so it easy through. Quick. Plus, it tells you when it's done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Change of color. Mm -hmm. And you were right. saying, That's yeah, beautiful. you can substitute so many things for this. Tacos. Exactly. And the size of your recipe. Easy right. to expand. So no, there you have it. Sprinkle some on top. Lord Nelson, thank you so much for joining us You're again. Everybody, welcome. get on out there. Get your hatched chili peppers while they uh, while they're in season. While they're stocked up.